Hi YouTube and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since my last video this year because earlier this year I had the opportunity to go living on my own. So I found a new home for myself. Uh, I gather all my stuff and put them here in the room which I've seen right now. This is my rehearsal slash home recording room in which I put all my gears, guitar, amps and stuff like that. Today I'm gonna spend some time talking about this uh, fairly unknown piece of gear which I have here in my hands. It is the Marshall JCM600 All Tube Amplifier. The Marshall JCM600 kind of looks to me like the underdog of the JCM series. It was in fact released around the same time the more famous JCM900 was also released, but it was soon discontinued two years after its first appearance, in 1995. So they have been produced uh, from 1995 to 1997 and then soon discontinued. And actually I don't know why these amps sound amazing and if you have the chance to get your hands uh, on one of those, you're very very lucky. I actually bought it early this year on the second hand market on a website called Mercatino Musicale, which is kind of like the reverb you have in the USA, where people can sell and buy stuff concerning music. Surprisingly, all the tubes were ok as well as the bias, so no major modification has been done on the sample since the day it was firstly bought from the guy I bought it from. It is a 60 watt all tube amplifier head with 4 ECC83 in the preamp section and 2 EL34 in the power amp section. It has two independent channels, one clean and one dirty with its own independent reverb controls, an effect loop both series and parallel, as well as present knob in the back. The amp also has its own very very simple actually foot switch which allows it to go from the clean channel to the dirty channel. It is very tiny, very simple and uh, not so much to say about it. And now the moment we were all waiting for. Let's hear how it sounds. I map it with my trustworthy S757, slightly offset the tone with my 2x12 Black Sur with vintage Curtis cabinet. I'm using my Cort KX101 with the Jeff Beck Seymour Duncan. That's exactly how you expect a clean channel of a Marshall to sound like. It is very rich, uh, almost breaking up but not too much, with full of basses and trebles on it. tube amplifiers if you crank your independent volume all the way up and at the same time you lower the master volume you will definitely hear a breakup in the sound <laughs> tone uh, as well on the clean channel max all the way up but now let's get back to the clean channel as it was meant for 
which is safe to take pedals. It takes pedals very well. Here under my feet I have some basic pedals like overdrive and modulation effects and let's hear how they sound direct into the clean channel of the Marshall. <laughs> of the clean channel of the amplifier and overdrive in this case I have uh, a TC electronic El Mocambo overdrive which is meant to, to recreate that Dumbo overdrive Steve Ray Warren was famous for <laughs> Well, to me, it kind of sounds like the classic clean Marshall sound uh, with richness in bass frequencies and also high frequencies, and it takes pedals very well. Now, with a touch of a button, let's move to the dirty channel. The dirty channel is, um, I don't want to say the poor man's plexi, uh, but it is actually like that. If you yacht broke or if you can't find an original plexi and you don't want to disintegrate the home of your neighbors, you can buy one of these and uh, by, by noodling on the controls you will get very very close uh, to a true plexi sound. <laughs> and you will definitely have a more modern sounding tone. <laughs> tons of gain. If you are a more modern guitar player uh, you can also uh, get along with this amplifier cranking the gain all the way to the right you will definitely hear that the chunkiness of the tone but to me it also keeps uh, that clarity and mid-range of a vintage amplifier and uh, I don't want to say that it sounds like a plexi amplifier but it definitely gets very very close to that. Another important feature of this amplifier, at least important to me, which sets it in the territory of the old school tube heads and the kind of, um, which is not a common feature on the modern day amplifier, is that every volume acts like it is meant to be. Let me explain. On the old plexi head you had volume 1 and volume 2 and to obtain gain out of that you had to crank both volume 1 and volume 2 all the way up but both volume 1 and volume 2 also affected your tone with volume 1 highlighting the mid frequencies and volume 2 highlighting on the contrary the bass and the high frequencies and here we have the same exact way of conceiving the volume knobs not just increasing or decreasing your volumes, but also they 
actually affect your turn. So be very very careful when you're uh, when noodling on the preamp volume or on the master volume because they both can affect your overall turn. For example, let's say we want to highlight the bass frequencies and diminish uh, the, the mid frequencies. What we have to do is to increase the preamp volume and decrease the master volume. <laughs> If you want to have a more open British and mid focus tone, you have to do the exact contrary lower the preamp volume and open up the master volume. <laughs> important aspect is that it has tons of gain if you want to use it uh, for singing lead tones also you can just increase the gain knob you don't have to rely on extra overdrive or boost pedals to crank the gain <laughs> Sorry, I was forgetting to mention another couple of things. The spring reverb built in is a, a true spring reverb, so you will hear the difference between that and a digital one you will find nowadays on the modern amplifiers. <laughs> Even if it doesn't resemble like an old tube amplifier, it definitely sounds like a proper tube and old school amplifier. You have, uh, for me, the perfect combination between a Flexi and the TCM 800 tone wise, uh, with the chance you also have with this with the extra gain to bring it to a more modern level. And also, it is uh, very, very small compared to the Flexi or the DCM 800. It weighs all the about 25 kilos. It is uh, a 60 watt amplifier, which means that when you crank it, you you want to disintegrate the wall of your neighbors. And it is very well built. It has two separate channels uh, and also very good spring readers. Thank you for watching and if you also own one of these let me know in the comment section below what you think about them and stay tuned for more videos to come. Bye!